Let me guess, you're a woman that someone says to you, wow, that color looks amazing on you. You look so beautiful today. And you go, oh, I just, they, I, you know, I, I just, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I got it at the store and I really liked the way it looked on the, on the hanger. And I just felt like maybe it would be something good for work. And, um, yeah, and, and you're like this, is that you? <laughs> or how about this? That was a genius idea for that project. Wow, you nailed it. I mean, I would have even thought of that. And you were like, well, you know, yeah, I mean, I just, you know, uh, and you're squirming and you're, and you're worming and you're moving around and you can't kind of get yourself together. And the moment has passed and it's pretty awkward. And <laughs> nowhere in there did you just say thank you. So if you're a middle life woman and you know what I'm talking about, that space of having a really difficult time of receiving compliments, lean in with me. So if this is you, my name is Jen and I'm the founder and owner of Laughing Lotus Wellness. I'm a transformational purpose coach and expert. And what I do is work with and specialize in treating midlife women who are brilliantly successful, have done all the things and got there only to kind of go, is this it? And they realize in midlife that there is something more that they need and want for their lives. And they're just not sure how to kind of go about it got ideas, they feel uncertain, and they also feel maybe kind of crazy because like from the outside looking in, maybe they got all their shit together, right? Wrong. So if you're leaning into that space and you're like, I know, I know I need to make a change and I know I'm not feeling things and I'm not sure how to go about it. That's why I'm here. And what I love to do is help midlife women get really crystal clear about where they want to go, how they're going to do it, what changes have happened in their lives that they can honor differently and renegotiate having a completely revolutionary, different kind of relationship in midlife with themselves than the one that we've been doled out in our culture that tells us that it's just crisis. I am so passionate about changing that narrative that we have in our culture. It's time to make it different. So I want to support you doing that. How do I do that? I use my foundation of clinical social work. I was a private practice psychotherapist for years and years and years. I have over 20 years of experience. And I also land in the field of healing and energy work. So I've done some certifications and healing modalities. And what I do is combine all of that together to create a different and novel approach to helping you work through the five steps of my program that help you uncover and then recover and create a whole brand new sense of the relationship you want to have with your journey in the rest of your life and make that second half way better than the first. And I swear to you, we can do this. So let's talk about receiving. So first of all, I renegotiated the, the, the kind of definition that I like using for it. So for the purpose of our conversation in this month's theme, this is what it stands for. Rising to evolve in our capacity to experience the incoming vibration of embracing gifts given to us, right? So we want to give ourselves gifts and we also want to be good receivers. If you haven't caught my live, I will be talking about why it's so freaking hard for us to receive all sorts of things. Today, compliments. Why is this important? Oh my God. Because <laughs> if that was you, the squirming, the right, or maybe perhaps you're really amazing at it, but you actually don't feel it. That's still an issue, my friends. That's not full receiving. If another person says something about how amazing you are and you're like, oh, thanks. And in the inside, you're like gaslighting yourself. You're like, I'm a piece of shit. She doesn't mean it. That's not really true. She's just being nice. We got to work on it. Okay. So I'm going to talk about a couple things today and we're going to do a little bit of a tapping exercise. First of all, listen. Number one, say thank you. You do not want compliments and love and the ability to receive to dry up because you shut it down and deflect every time someone has something lovely to say about you. Say thank you. Practice being better at really fully receiving that. If that's tough, here's another one for you. And I love this one. If you can't just say thank you, and thank you is delightful, right? You also can say, I receive that. Whether someone's giving you a compliment, an actual gift, um, whatever it might look like, you can say, I, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I receive that. You actually using the language of what you're trying to do. I receive that. Uh, when I've been overwhelmed by a gift that feels very, very big in my life, I will say, I receive that. Why? The language is about abundance. 
And if I am incessantly deflecting good stuff, trying to come in my world, it's like turning a spigot off. So when someone wants to give you something, and we're gonna start with compliments, right? It could be a thing, it could be a tangible thing, but it also can be compliments. We wanna practice really staying open to that. Because what we do when we do that is we signal the universe to all the things around us who are willing to receive. If I'm like, oh no, that's okay. Oh gosh, no thanks, that's too much. Oh geez, I, I could never accept that. If we do that, what we're telling the universe is like, it's good, I don't need you. <laughs> ah, don't do that, right? Don't ever do that. Because you wanna be really open in the flow of being able to receive all sorts and types of abundance. So I just got done teaching this, so now I'm like really on my high horse about it because I taught a 40-day manifesting abundance masterclass and we really dove into this idea of like how we just want to show up and stay in the flow. Stay in the flow, friends. We just want to make sure we're really receptive, okay? So saying things like thank you, saying things like I, am, I receive that, um, what it's doing is it's, it's helping you practice that kind of energetic expression, and if you have to work internally, you have to work internally, it's okay. Like we're also works in progress. We have lots of grace. We honor ourselves. So we can just receive. And then if I have to go into my own mindset and work a little bit and catch myself and shift the mind flow, we'll do that. Okay. With that being said, let's do a little tapping. What do you say? <laughs> let's do a little exercise. So hand on chest, just right here. Super simple. We're not going to do anything fancy. And I want you to just imagine for yourself for the moment, just tapping gently on that, on that heart space. I always think we're sort of waking it up. We're tapping into it. And I want you to just say for yourself, I'm open to receiving. Receiving tells the world that I'm open to more receiving. It allows powerful abundance to flow in and surround me. It calls in more beautiful things in my life. And I can receive graciously. I can say things like, thank you. I receive that. That is so thoughtful. That means so much to me. Receiving is a beautiful state that I can live in. I can be receptive and open. I can define for myself that I am absolutely worthy of receiving. I am worthy. I am worthy. I was wired for receiving. Gifts and abundance are a natural state of flow. I am worthy of that flow. I will do great things with that flow of energy. When I graciously receive, it means I don't need anybody else to do something for me. I learn that I can have the capacity to love and see my own goodness, my worthiness. And that I give from a different space when I receive well. I develop and deserve a beautiful relationship with receiving. I give myself permission to say thank you. To see my worthiness. To love myself. And to love and honor the person who's offering me a gift. To see that gift for what it is. And to just receive it. To take it in. And say thank you. I receive that. I appreciate that. And now stopping, just leaving that hand on the heart for a minute, taking a nice breath in and releasing it out. Just giving yourself that moment, that heart space to be so deeply connected that I know that this can be a really challenging thing because there's a lot of ways we've been conditioned to not be good receivers. And we get to be the boss of how we show up to that. We get to evolve 
we get to change. We get to experience that incoming sensation, that loving energy that someone wants to give us. It is a superpower to be a gracious receiver of gifts and compliments. So I want you to just tap into that space. If you have to save and keep this, come back to it. This is a really wonderful little mini tapping journey. And so flag it, share it, save it, and come back when you feel like you're getting in that space, that gaslighty space, or that it's hard for me to receive your compliment space. I want you to come back to this, and I want you to do it again, and then I want you to do it again. So it's something that this simply, a few minutes of time, can make a really big difference for us and how we're showing up energetically to things like this. So if that was helpful, I want to invite you to head over to my website where I host all kinds of things and purpose tools just for you to go check out. There is tons of them. So if you want to head to laughinglotuswellness.com, again, that's laughinglotuswellness.com, and you can go and find purpose tools right there. Go check out. I have tons of material in there. You can go and filter through things. There's little meditations, there's little tapping exercises, and there's lots of just tips and tricks to support you in living that midlife to its fullest. And so I just invite you to head over there if you'd like more content like what you experienced today. So I want to thank you so much for being here and sharing this time with me, uh, signing off and sending you so much blessings, so many blessings, love and light on your journey. And I am Jen supporting you to rise on your path of purpose in midlife as we revolutionize how we show up to it and living our best second half possible. Much love and light to all of you.